Hey everybody, I'm Eric from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. I do a lot of videos on how to set up your own dedicated servers using Steam CMD. Sometimes I show you how to create an auto updater, but sometimes I don't. Um, so I want to cover that because it's really, really easy to do. And once you have a template, it's super easy to update it for whatever next game you and your group are moving to next. Before we get into it though, please help me out. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content and it helps you because it helps us keep growing here and making more videos to help you out. All right, let's get into it. First things first, we're gonna keep this super simple. Now, technically you can make a dot bat that does an updater and put it anywhere you want and then just run it like even from your desktop, but then you have to point it to the folder wherever your Steam CMD is. So wherever your main install of Steam CMD is, you need to point it there. So what I always do is I just drop them all in this folder. As you can see, I have a bunch made here. I have an Ark, and an Astro Nears, a, a Citadel, and all these. And I got one here for Valheim. That's the one I'm gonna be working with today and showing you. So let's take a look at the innards of it. Uh, you can use Notepad or whatever to make your own .bat. Um, start with just a Notepad, a text file, and use that if you want. It, it doesn't really matter. So let, let's take a look at this one real quick. It's just a super simple command. So the reason I like to, to put them all into the Steam CMD folder is I just have to type steamcmd.exe to launch it. If, I, if it's not in that folder, then you have to point it to the correct directory of where steamcmd.exe is, and it can just get a little messy trying to figure that out and typing it all in. So that's why I do that, just to keep it simple. This is gonna launch that. Next thing it does is it goes to the next line and it's going to type in login anonymous. So that's going to get you logged into Steam CMD with the anonymous account. Now, 99% of the games that I show you how to do and, and that are on Steam that have dedicated servers, you can do this with the anonymous. Some games do require you to have a subscription, so you have to have purchased the game. And if that is the case, then you need to type, when you type in login, you need to actually put in your Steam user ID space and then the actual password for your steam account but like i said most of the time anonymous is going to work and it's the easiest to do uh, and then after that you need to add another plus and then you're going to add app underscore update right here and then this is the thing you're going to have to change you need to change this number right here this is the id number for the dedicated server these can be found just on google there's a website called steam cmd which is what I, or I'm sorry, Steam, Steam database, Steam DB. You can just Google that and then you can pull it up and just search for, you know, Arc dedicated server, Conan dedicated server, and it's, it will pop you out the ID number that you need. And that's the only thing you need to change, really, whenever you make one of these. And then at the end, you put validate, which validates the files, and then another plus and quit, and that will exit you out of the window. That's all you have to do. This will auto update your program for you. If you don't have it installed, it will technically install it for you too for the first time, um, but not configure it. Obviously, you need to do that yourself. But this will is a quick way to auto update it. So that's the text. That's how easy it is. You're just changing these numbers to match whatever game you're trying to update. As long as everything's in the default folders, it will do that and work perfectly. So if you keep everything simple and you don't move things to other folders and confuse, you know, Steam CMD, then you have to come in here and you have to actually put like where you want it to update and install and all that stuff. But like I said, if you keep it simple, this will work for you. And let, let's execute it now. I'm going to show you how it works and how simple it is. You're just going to double click on it. Here it's logging me into Steam CMD. It's downloading the updates. I haven't actually ran it for a while, so it actually has a Steam CMD update. It's downloading it. There, there it's installed. Now it's logging in anonymous right here. Boom, connected. Waiting for client config. It's now moving on to the next step. It may take a second. Like I said, it's been a while since I've logged in. Uh, it completed that. Now it moved on to updating. And so you see now it's actually updating my files for Valheim. That's how easy it is. And then whenever they pop out another update for Valheim, instead of you having to look everything up, get the code, type in the commands, you have the script ready. All you have to do is come here, double click on this, obviously shut down your server first. If your server's executing right right now, you need to shut it down before you do this update. But other than that, this will update it for you, it'll download it and you will be good to go. And this will work for, like I said, any game on Steam CMD, which is awesome. So it's super easy to do once you've figured it out, took the time to, to lay the groundwork, it will make your life a lot easier. Thanks for watching everybody. Have yourself a wonderful day.